What's going on? I hear Joshima and Hoshino are coming out tonight. It's weird, man. For the two pillars of purple shadow to get together, it's got to be something big. You mean you really hadn't heard? Project D is heading up to challenge us. You got to be yanking my chain. You mean Joshima and Hoshino are racing Project D themselves? I kind of doubt they will. I'm guessing they'll put up the younger dudes in purple shadow before they do that. Those guys have better things to do than race a couple of kids. I mean, they're like gods on the road. They won't get their hands dirty with this one. Mm -hmm. Here they are. Joshima God Arm Toshia and Kozo Godfoot Hoshino. Looks like you've been putting on a few pounds, buddy. You don't lower that cholesterol soon, it'll kill you faster than a fire in your gas tank. Ah, get off my case. I live my life thick and quick, you know that. Anyway, when have you known me to listen to what some dumbass doctor has to say? <laughs> yeah, you and me both, big guy. So Project D, huh? I haven't been this jazzed about a race in a real long time. Maybe guys like us just get easier to excite the older we get. But who cares? Sounds like fun. I don't want to sound like a jerk or anything, but I didn't think you guys were going to show up. Are you two going to race? That's right. I hope it's not a problem for you. Of course not. Not a problem at all. You two can do whatever you want. It's just that the most senior members don't need to waste their time racing a bunch of kids if they don't want to. Us racing this has got nothing to do with age. These fellows are driving all the way up here from Gunma, right? It's a long way. Let's give them a warm Ibaraki welcome. Sound good to you? Well, sure. But we're better than these guys. We'll take care of them for you. Ease up on the attitude. Just let us drive this one, and I guarantee you'll like what you see. It's not like we're a couple of arrogant jerks who just showed up on your scene to tell you the way of the world and how to drive its roads. We formed Purple Shadow a long time ago and taught you a hell of a lot when we brought you kids on. But the fact is, we're getting up there. We can't keep up with you young kids anymore. Hoshino, that just isn't true. You know not one of us has even come near your level of expertise. Stop being so modest. You look like a douche. You're a regular on the Sakuba circuit, and you make all those cats look like fat chewing chumps. The two of us dig doing crap like this, and we don't get to that much. No matter how old we get, we're still just two kids with cars. 
So, what do you say we take him for a few more runs? Sure. Gotta chip this rust off ourselves one way or another, right? Those guys think they're rusty. I'd hate to know what they think about us. They both have their skills honed even sharper than a samurai sword. God Arm earned his name by mastering the method of one-handed steering. Dr. Toshia Joshima. Then there's Kozo Godfoot Hoshino. He got his name because of his accelerator techniques. Only someone with the foot of a god could do what he does with those pedals. After countless battles, these two men are the gods of the mountain pass. They have no equal. Dad, you gonna get that? He's not here. Fujiwara Tofu Shop, how can I help you? Hey, it's Wataru. I'm in your neighborhood. Thought you might want to grab a bite to eat somewhere. So, what's your next big destination? Ibaraki. Right on. So, Wataru, huh? I just wanted to say thank you for everything you helped me out with. I've thought a lot about what you said, and I think I'm getting it. Glad to hear it helped out. That doesn't always happen when I give advice. It's like I finally feel like I'm starting to wrap my head around the 8-6 for the first time. Huh? Here it comes. I wonder what he's gonna start babbling about this time. Seriously, dude, some of the crap that comes out of your mouth makes no freaking sense. Hey, I'm only being honest. I feel like I finally got a handle on her. After all these years, I know what I gotta do if I wanna get her to perform at her full potential. It's like how I automatically know what to do to conquer a course the first time out. Or how to balance the support on my suspension. I'm just now starting to feel my grip on those kinds of things. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, at least you're making progress, right? Still, it blows my mind. How anyone could do what you've done with as little information as you've had up to now is a mystery. Yeah, I guess, but that doesn't mean I'm stupid. I'm just waiting on the day I lose a race so I can understand her even better. That 8-6. What's with the added manpower? Why are we bringing the extra support car with us this time? Before we came out, Ryosuke and I made a list of everything we knew we'd need. When we looked at it all side by side, turned out three cars wasn't gonna be enough. I just wanted everybody here to know we're having to up the ante against these guys. Now let that sink in real good. We've got a long haul ahead of us, so be careful out there. Got it? Got, got it. it. <laughs> Hey, Chief, did you hear? Project D's next opponent is the Purple Shadow. They're gonna be racing in Ibaraki. Huh. I know it sounds nuts, but I also heard it was gonna be Hoshino and Joshima in the battle. No shit. If you can find the time in your busy schedules, both of you need to go watch these guys battle the D. But I didn't know the Purple Shadow was anything to write home about. Daiki. What you don't know could fill a library. Both of those guys or driver's chief here would take his hat off to any day. No kidding. So what do you think? Does Project D even stand a chance on this one? The pendulum is always swinging, boys. Who knows where it's gonna come back to? Don't worry about what you can't control. Just watch the match take away what you can. See how these guys tackle such an enormous obstacle and think about how you would do it. That's the thing I want you to take away.
Here we go. All that sounds fine. And we'll do everything we can to make sure the night runs smoothly for your crew. We appreciate that. Sure. It's, it's been, been a pleasure, pleasure meeting you. you. Hmm. These kids are a heck of a lot nicer than I thought they'd be. That's what I was thinking. After what I saw on their homepage, I expected a bunch of baggy pants wearing arrogant little pricks. I'm getting a good vibe. Now that we know they're cool, we can skip the mind games and attitude and just go straight to the racing. <laughs> This'll be a fun night. Could be the best we've had in a long time. You know the routine. First couple of runs at 80%. Stay focused, all right? <laughs> Hey, what's up with the fourth van? You've got this thing filled up with almost nothing but spare tires. <laughs> well, except for this motor scooter. What's that doing in here? Oh, that? I brought that along for our drivers to use. Why for them? So they can check out the course. It'll be available to them any time they want to use it before dark tomorrow. On that scooter, they'll be able to see any damage or problem spots in the road a lot easier. Then hopefully, they'll be able to draw out an even more detailed plan of the course before they're loaded for bear. I mean, it'd be best if they could walk the road, but we don't have that kind of time. This is just one of the new ideas Ryosuke came up with. It's smart. He's been kicking out a lot of killer ideas lately, hasn't he? Just where the old tricks won't work, so this new crew's gotta be pretty good. All done. Okay, you're locked in. Balance seems fine, the suspension's solid. Just do me a favor and keep an eye on how your traction holds up out there. Cool. Whatever you say. How's the car looking tonight? Like a greased piston. And Takami seems to have his head screwed on tight. Think he's finally catching on to a few of the things it takes to set up his car before a race. He isn't the same dumb kid he used to be. I've been noticing the difference, too. I was just thinking about how far he's come since his first race with Project D. He's practicing a lot outside of his time with us, times when we can't keep our eyes on him. Whatever he's doing, he's catching on to something, and it's working. Whether or not he wins, he's going to keep getting better. Incredibly so. Takemi will surpass us all someday. about the modifications on the FD, but it sure as hell looks sweet. That's the way Case K likes it. The look is 100% his own design. So how'd she do? The inclines are steeper than I expected, so the balance is shifting too much to the rear. You want me to raise her up in the back a little? Yeah, I think that'd help a lot. You're Case K, the guy driving the FD, right? That's a real nice car. You got that badass thing going on pretty well. Bet you're popular with the ladies, huh? I'm not hitting on you, kid. It's just that I was something of a ladies' man when I was younger, too. Guess we can recognize our own. 
Youth sure is the most irreplaceable of commodities. When you get to be my age and you start strapping this much dead weight around your gut like I have, well, let's just say the bras don't come flying off the girls the way they used to. Don't even get me started on the amount of money you gotta spend on them either, but still. The joy you feel when you land one is greater than anything you ever felt when you were young. Believe it or not, it's even better than any one of the hundreds of wins I had in my day. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure it'll all come into focus for you eventually. It's important for you to screw around when you're young, I get it. See you later. Oh, I almost forgot. I had something else I came over here to talk to you about. Just a little idea about the battle I wanted to toss at you. Yeah, okay. What are you thinking? Oh, how should I put this? When you're racing a mountain pass, having both a downhill and an uphill is par for the course. And it's not like I've tweaked out my car specifically for the uphill or anything. I always believe total balance is what makes a true street racer. So here's what I'm proposing to you. Let's not make our battle just an uphill. I figure we're skilled enough we can switch it up, make it more interesting. Hold on. You want to race me in a mixed stage with both uphill and downhill? Hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Kick ass. That means I could show off everything I got, especially on the downhill. That sounds all right. We can do it just like you said. I think I'll enjoy that. You sure show a lot of promise, boy. This is gonna be fun. Oh, and one more thing before I go. Do you think you and I could do our battle first? You mean before they run the downhill? Just to amp up the excitement for me. I'm getting kind of impatient in my old age. Waiting for things gets under my skin. That works for me, too. I'm pretty much the same way. Well, okay. I don't mind telling you I'm really getting pumped about this battle. Catch you later. Hope you didn't mind me making the call on that one, bro. Just didn't seem like there was any reason to tell the guy no. No, I think it'll be fine. I'll admit it was an unexpected turn of events, but after meeting them, I doubt they have any ill intent. After all, it ends up helping us out. It makes the race a little more advantageous for us without making us look like a bunch of jerks. I gotta give him credit. We haven't faced anyone yet that offered us the chance to make a race more fair. It's easy to be generous when you know you're the best. I'm all charged up. It's been a while since I was itching this bad to get behind the wheel. of a threat he is, but he's good. What's wrong with me? It's like there's a weight on my shoulders, even more than usual. Whatever it is, this will still be one hell of a race. I'm beat, dude. Practice wore me out, too. Keisuke, Fujiwara, there you guys are. Are you ready to go? We booked a lodge at the base of the mountain for you two to stay in. You what? That's right. You're both getting to sleep in a nice air-conditioned room for a change. Yeah, okay. But why just us two? Because you're the drivers. You guys are gonna win or lose it for all of us. Nah, I don't need a room, really. I'll just sleep in the back of my car like I usually do. Ryosuke, why don't you take my place instead? I've never had to pull rank before, but you can consider this a direct order from your team leader. It's far too hot this time of year for you to be sleeping in your car. It could affect your driving. It's critically important that you don't feel any fatigue tonight. You need to keep your concentration as high as possible. Basically, it's important for you two to get your beauty rest for the sake of the team. I'll run you down to the lodge. Go grab your things and hop into van number one. Fumihiro said he'd swing back here to pick us up around four. That gives us longer to sleep than I ever get back home. Oh. I almost feel bad for the other guys. I gotta say, though, feels pretty damn good to be able to stretch out for once. No question about that, man. This is the first time since we've started our expeditions with D we've had anything cool happen. We could sure use the rest. This is gonna be a rough battle, worse than you might think. It's a short course, but it's got all these details that are really tough to nail. 
All those slow winding corners, not being able to see what's coming up next, forget about planning. And the blacktop's one of the bumpiest I've seen. I don't have any idea how I can make it through that sucker in just one shot. He's already asleep? No way! It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure we're under. Must be nice. He might come across as naive, maybe a little dumb, but the truth is the guy's tough. I'm the delicate one. What in the hell is Kenta doing? He slathered oil all over his body to get a tan. What a freaking idiot. Why does he need to get any darker than he already is? I don't know how he can stand to be out here. I feel like I'm on fire. Probably close to a thousand degrees in the cars. It was a smart idea getting Keisuke and Takumi to a cool room where they could relax. Lucky. Absolutely. Especially for this battle. They've got to be in the best shape of their lives, both physically and mentally. Ryosuke already had the whole shebang worked out way before we got here. But I wouldn't expect anything less out of the guy now that I think of it. Yeah, no doubt. Fujiwara sure is taking a sweet-ass time looking over the course. He's been gone for what, an hour, maybe two? Yeah, something like that. And Keisuke was there and back in about as long as it takes to piss. So are you planning on actually racing today? <laughs> hey, shut up. I got my own style, douchebag. I may have been fast, but I did everything I had to do. Well, we're all counting on you. You're up first tonight, and we'd love to lead with a win. I'm ready to go to bat. I've had a great night's sleep in a cool place, so I'm feeling like a million bucks. for this a long time, man. It's gonna be a massive blowout. Getting to see Joshima and Hoshino step out of the shadows to throw down and battle with these badass drivers from Project D? It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see legends racing legends. You know, I've heard a lot about Project D, but how good are they really? I mean, they're going up against guys who got the word God in their nicknames. Think they can hold up to that? All I know is they're not your average drivers. Both guys they got behind the wheel are like 20 years old and they've been at this a while. They've been all over Northern Kanto and they haven't lost a single race yet. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they're gonna be all right. I tell you, they better be the best in the friggin' region. I didn't come all the way up here just to watch some kids get beat. Man, a lot of people turned out for this one. Not as many as there'd be if D hadn't stopped posting the time and location of their races. They must have been getting too many showing up to watch, too many distractions on the road to have a safe battle but they've got a fan site up. They leak the info in just enough time for people to make the race. Huh? I didn't know that. Must suck to be popular. Poor bastards. My gear hand's starting to twitch. I can't wait to get out there and start tearing the road up. Easy now. Watch that cockiness of yours, buddy. You know what that can do. Keep your pantyhose on. The pride of the purple shadow is a powerful thing. I'm not gonna lose to some kid. I may be old, but I can still teach a punk a lesson or two. We'll do the hill climb first, guys. The pylon at the top of the course is your turnaround point. Once you flip that, come back down. That's one run. And of course, we'll repeat as necessary. Does that sound okay to you, sir? That's just fine. And since we're doing a mixed stage of both uphill and downhill, you fellas have any objections to me taking the lead on the first run? No, no objections at all. Cool. All right. 
Let's get rolling. And in case you forgot, I'm Kozo Hoshino. I'm Keisuke Takahashi. Yeah, the Kumar Desilay, we can see the camera's in Shinzelay. 